In April 2025, Texas Instruments patched a jailbreak on the TI-84 Plus CE, cutting off programs and games on this flagship graphing calculator. Now, a new Artifice jailbreak is here. You can now once again run assembly and see games and programs on the TI-84 Plus CE. Want to jailbreak your own calculator? Click on the annotation or the timestamp in the description to skip straight to the tutorial. For over three decades, students and hobbyists have embraced graphing calculators like the TI-82, TI-83, and TI-84 Plus for playing, sharing, and creating games and programs. These calculators, originally designed for graphing and math functions, became popular with students, inspiring developers old but mostly young to learn programming and then push their limits by writing low-level assembly programs. This vibrant culture not only fueled learning and creativity, but also turned these calculators into portable gaming devices and coding playgrounds well beyond their original math and science intent. With the TI-84 Plus CE family, first released in 2015, programs could also be written in the C programming language, thanks to hard work by the graphing calculator hobbyist community. In May 2020, TI removed assembly and C programmability from the TI-84 Plus CE family. The Artifice jailbreak appeared shortly thereafter, restoring the ability to run custom programs and games on TI's popular color screen calculators. The calculator hobbyist community continued to embrace the TI-84 Plus CE family, building all kinds of arcade games, 3D games, math and science applications, shells, and much more. In fact, Crytor, a French website TI Planet revealed in April 2025 that TI had unofficially agreed not to patch the exploit Artifice used, as long as the hobbyist community didn't encourage or enable cheating or bypassing the secure exam mode that this calculator family offers. However, in April 2025, Texas Instruments released firmware updates for the TI-83 Premium CE TI-84 Plus CE and the TI-82 Advanced Python Edition that effectively blocked the Artifice jailbreak. This move was largely motivated by security concerns after a viral video showed students exploiting modified calculators to access ChatGPT during exams, raising alarms about cheating and prompting TI to tighten the security of their devices. Although ironically, most of the cheating videos have demonstrated modifying the older monochrome graphing calculators. This update marked a turning point, as TI not only stopped new software development, but also rendered much of the community's long-standing work incompatible. Students buying new calculators or updating the operating systems on their existing calculators would suddenly find themselves unable to run thousands of existing free programs and games written by the community. They also wouldn't be able to become developers themselves, creating and testing C or assembly programs on their calculators. TI's decision reflects a broader shift towards securing their calculators, especially to maintain academic integrity during testing. While the Artifice jailbreak once opened doors for innovation and learning, the new restrictions signal a crackdown on unauthorized modifications to protect educational institutions and standardized testing. Indeed, Casio has also removed native programmability on its latest PRISM, or FXCG100 calculator. And to be clear, I find Chromalock and other people publishing tools to explicitly turn graphing calculators into cheating devices unethical and self-serving. In the immortal words of Dr. Ian Malcolm, they were so preoccupied with whether or not they could, they didn't stop to think if they should. Although it became very clear they should not, they kept going. But the STEM value of graphing calculators as programming platforms cannot be overlooked. For example, I and many of my colleagues credit our careers in computer science, software engineering, and electrical engineering to learning to program with our TI graphing calculators. Luckily, a new Artifice version 2.0 has now been released, restoring assembly and C games and programs to the TI-84 Plus CE and the TI-83 Premium CE, including their Python editions and the TI-82 Advanced Edition Python. If you have OS version 5.3 through 5.8.3, here's how you jailbreak it. First, Visit the Artifice link in the description, a GitHub link, and download the latest .8xp file listed. At recording time, this is entitled Artifice underscore v2.8xp. 
Next, use TI Connect CE, not TI Connect, to send this file to your TI84 Plus CE. Just drag and drop the .8xp file into the archive of your connected calculator. Finally, run program A on your calculator from the PRGM menu, and you'll be able to see and run all of the native programs on the device. If you need more programs and games, you can grab them from chemitech.net slash downloads. The link is in the description. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments below and stay tuned for the latest in the TI-84 Plus CE jailbreaking saga.